Hey guys, we are about to head to Tappahannock, Virginia. This is Anna from Anna Travels. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Indy is going to join us in our adventures and Chris is about to lock up the house and we're going to have a nice, hopefully peaceful weekend um, at, in the Tappahannock along the Rappahannock River. So another little Virginia adventure for those who are overseas. I live in Virginia, which is in the United States. We're here at N&N &N Burger. I'll try and talk with while the guitar player is not playing. But we're gonna go back to order. Hopefully, it won't be a terribly long wait. I don't know. We'll see. At this monstrosity. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to do with this. We're gonna try and eat it. Chris went to go get our food. Our food just got ready. So, Lordy, how mercy. It's like cotton candy, cookie, lots of whipped cream. So, Chris got the classic burger. Truffle fries. It is. Truffle and charm. And then I got the top notch burger. Mm -hmm. So we're trying the fries. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice and crunchy. It's like a frosting. Mm -hmm. I just don't know how to eat this shake. It's really greasy. Indy. Good boy. Hey guys, so I don't know how much that was hearable because we were like under the speaker and then before there was like live music, but NN, NN Burger, pretty awesome. Andy got half a burger. We didn't want to feed it to him all because, you know, sometimes he gets a little sick. But he seemed to enjoy the burger, and we enjoyed. Did you enjoy your burger? You got yeah. me a classic. I had the classic, and it says there's supposed to be a sauce in there, but I didn't really taste any sauce, so it felt kind of dry for a burger. Oh. That's the only thing I would critique it on, but I mean, it wasn't bad. It was still a good burger, just to. This one was missing. Yeah, I should have. Oomph. I probably should have just added some sauce in there myself because there was, didn't really taste anything. I had the top notch burger and it was Wagyu beef, probably American Wagyu, not, you know, A5 Japanese Wagyu, of course. Um, it was good. It had like a black, I think it said black pepper jam aioli or something. That was super tasty and yeah, I didn't really like the chips. They call them what? The twister chips? Twister chips, yeah. Because I felt like 
Well, I don't know if it was just today or whatever, but they were really greasy to begin yeah. with. Um, so kind of messy. And the Parmesan, was it like melted? It was like they sprinkled it on there, just, uh, you know, whatever source. Yeah. And, and I, you know, I kind of taste the truffle, but not really. So that was like the only disappointing thing, that freak shake. Oh my gosh, that shake was pretty good. I didn't like, like, because they, they put... Would you say it was like a marshmallow? I think it was like fluff? a mar. It, it felt like a marshmallow fluff. It tastes like a marshmallow fluff to me, the way it, it, it tasted and the texture. Yeah, it, I don't really amazing. like. I mean, I don't mind marshmallow fluff, but it was just it's too sugary. So the the cookie ice cream cake. I thought it was going to be ice cream inside, but it was actually that marshmallow it was more fluff. More than marshmallow fluff, yeah. Yeah, and it just it's like oh my gosh, just like way too much sugar. I know it's way too much sugar when you just have a giant freaking milkshake the size well, of the cotton candy on top too. Yeah, I ate the cotton candy. I love cotton candy. Um, so I guess I had the cotton candy, you had most of the cookie. Um, and Amazing. the milkshake itself was pretty phenomenal. It was like, it, w it said it was chocolate hazelnut, but it wasn't super chocolatey. Um, it seemed like it was like a vanilla based milkshake. Um, and it just had like hazelnut, you know, kind of probably blended in, but they also had it slathered against the glass. Um, so it was pretty good. No complaints. Um, I mean, aside from the, the, fr the, not the, the chips, but yeah, I mean, I would definitely, definitely come to this place again. We sat outside so that, you know, Indy could come with us. He was okay. Um, I think sometimes he gets a little overwhelmed and yeah, he, he got wants... a little overwhelmed. I think because he was hot and then there was a lot of music and a lot of people coming in and out. I mean, he made friends with that one teenage kid. Oh, yeah. He made friends. <laughs> Sure. And the kid was like, I don't want to go inside. I want I have my new friend. <laughs> so yeah, so anyways, our next adventure is where are we going? The Montrose Brewery. The Montrose Brewery. So that will be our next stop. We're not gonna take Indy, he's gonna stay at the hotel. Hopefully he'll be fine as my little <laughs> mind won't explode again. But yeah, so we'll see you there. <laughs> Outro today. Oh. You have a flight? Yeah, I have no flight. You have a <laughs> what? You have lamps behind you too. Oh, I do. I'm trying to He's like, no, I don't want to be any part of this outro. Andy. So we just came back from the Montrose Brewer Brewery and Montrose Brewery. Brewery, and it was fun. It was a really cute little brew house. I mean. I don't drink beer, so I had a ginger ale. Ginger ale was okay. Um, I 
it was, yeah, it was kind of a nice pace of normalcy. Is that a word? Norm it was a nice change, or it felt like normal normality. Yeah, it felt like, like normal life. Indy seemed to do good by himself. Um, he's laying down now. Uh, there was fireworks when we were coming across the bridge. So hopefully he was okay by himself with the fireworks. Usually at home he kind of gets a little stressed. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it was a good day, a good kind of first day in ta the Tappahannock area. And we just got to, you know, chill. Super tired, so gonna be the end of this vlog today. And we have tomorrow. Tomorrow has new adventures, and I don't know if we'll go fossil hunting, but I hope we do. So, I hope you like and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow.